This is the old Watling on Watling Street in the City of London, in view of St Paul's Cathedral. Now, Watling Street is attributed as the site of one of the most famous losses of the Battle of the Britons. This is alleged to be the site, the road of Watling Street, somewhere on its strip is supposed to be where Boudicca, Queen Boudicca of the Iceni, lost to the Romans in 60s AD. And this is not long after the final Roman invasion, which would see the formation of Roman Britain. Now, this here locale commemorates the Battle of Watling, one of the most important historical events in English history, in which Boudicca mustered a great many of the Brythonic clans, and she opposed the Romans due to them having violated her two daughters. This battle, the Battle of Watling, resulted, supposedly according to Roman sources, which are disputed, um, resulted in 80,000 casualties of the Britons and 400 casualties only of the Romans. Now, due to the scale of the battle and the loss of Boudicca uh, during the battle as it waged on, um, there was a retreat and of the Britons and during this retreat there was a bloody massacre of a fairly large scale. This battle result and the massacre therein resulted in Nero uh, sending a different regent to England, to Londinium, to attempt to placate the Bretons into submission and subjugation after the massacre that had previously happened. So this here pub and street upon which it rests is one of the most important historical edifices of England and its history when it comes to its back and forths, shall we say, with the Roman Empire. Back and forths that involved quite a lot of slaughter and massacres during the occupations. Now, why you should visit it? It's a very pleasant, bustling and interesting place and has particularly significant historical significance. And so, the Battle of Watling with Boudicca versus the Roman legions lives on in history, though the place is quite different. We remember these things because they are important to our history, peoples and culture. Now I'm going to use this board to properly explain the tale of this public house because it's actually got a lot to do with the Great Fire. In 1666, the Great Fire of London ripped through the city of London and absolutely demolished it. A man named Sir Christopher Wren made quite the living off of rebuilding it and he was very anti-Catholic. Now. The cathedral, St Paul's Cathedral, just up the road, like many places in the area, would have been Catholic. Christopher Wren was Church of England. So the rebuilding of London was very political as well as religious and symbolic. And it earned him a very pretty pound note. So I'm going to use this quickly just to showcase what I'm talking about. Because this pub claims that he built it to aid his workers who were rebuilding St Paul's Cathedral, which, by the way, was rebuilt to imitate a basilica in Rome, which was Catholic. So this C of E church, this Church of England church, was symbolically, in the eyes of many of us, saying, we are the new Rome, we are in charge now. That's what St Paul's really represents. So is it a fantastic piece of architecture? In the eyes of many, yes, but is it more is it more symbolic? Is it more maybe even nefarious to meet the eye? Most certainly. Now, uh, Sir Christopher Wren in um, sort of a, the old Watling public house claims to have been built by Sir Christopher Wren in 1668, two years after the Great Fire, to house those workers rebuilding St Paul's Cathedral following the Great Fire of London in 1666, which would have been under Charles II. The pub was constructed from the straight lengths of brine pickled timber from old ships which were sold cheaply to builders. Now that is fascinating, the old timber that would have been used by the workforce of Britain were used to mend this public house or to create this public house post the Great Fire. Now that is fascinating. Now wooden features are all over the place in London and it's difficult to tell what's new and what isn't. But this public house is claiming to have 
basically wooden timbers that would have predated 1666, or well, at least, at least 1668. But then they're going to be older than 1666 if they're from ships anyway. So this is a fascinating, fascinating bit of information and historical relevance. So I'm going to go in and have a look at the ceiling. Thank you. 